All right, today we're going to disassemble a Samsung Stratosphere to repra replace a broken LCD. And we'll start by removing the battery cover from the back of the phone. Tab up here at the top, open it up. Uh, go ahead and pull the battery out, your LTE SIM card if you have one, and your micro SD card as well. This one didn't have either of the above. And on the back housing, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws that hold the rear panel on. We'll go ahead and take those out. These are crosshaired screws. Very easy to remove, but they do tend to stick inside the housing, so you want to magnetize your screwdriver if you can. Otherwise, keep track of where they go if they get stuck inside of the housing. If you flip the phone over here and slide it open, there's a good spot you can pry from right around the, uh, right beneath the keyboard here to get started on removing the rear panel. Here's one of the screws that fell out. And this will come out with uh, very little resistance here. Just go in a real shallow pry, and that comes out without any trouble. One thing I do like about Samsung's. Now on the uh, main board you're going to have four, uh, we got our main flex cable here, we're going to disconnect first. Getting ahead of myself, so take your pry tool, go ahead and remove the main flex. And then we should have four additional screws that are going to be holding the, let's see, one, two, three, four, which hold the main board onto the midframe. So we'll go ahead and take those out. Once you've removed those, keep in mind that your speaker here is going to have an adhesive that holds it down. We need to go ahead and pry underneath that. Uh, before we do anything further, don't want to break those wires, so go ahead and make sure your speaker's free. And at that point, it's fairly easy to remove the motherboard. And now we're going to have eight more screws here that hold this sliding mechanism, uh, or hold this frame down to the sliding mechanism, that is. So we'll go ahead and remove those. Set them off to the side. And at this point, you'll have your main flex connected by an adhesive and also a little piece of heat tape here on the side. Not sure why they put that there. Possibly to hold it in place for reassembly. We'll go ahead and heat that up. And take note here, I'm prying with a pre-dulled razor blade. This is not a sharpened razor blade. Uh, if you need a pry tool to get into very small places, razor blade can often work well. But I recommend dulling it down so you don't cut anything by accident. And once we got that little piece of tape off, go ahead and pry underneath the flex here. This has got adhesive underneath it, and uh, just be real gentle. I think the flexes on this run about 25, 35 bucks, so you don't want to tear that. And once that's free, this other panel will come out. Again, just be careful not to snag anything. Go ahead and pull that off, and you can see how the mechanism works at this point. If you want to take a look. So we'll go in here and we're going to have four screws that are holding this panel on. Go ahead and remove these. And at this point you're going to begin prying. Um, I think I went from the side first on this one. No, I guess at the bottom. Starting at the bottom of the phone, prying around, very shallow pry, especially Keep in mind when you go near the, anywhere near the flex cable, you don't want to go in too deep. And uh, if you haven't seen the inside of the phone before and you don't want to know where the components are, you always want to use a very shallow pry so that you don't snag anything on the inside there, break something that uh, you'll have to replace. And on this particular panel, there is some adhesive on the inside. Again, I'm pointing out there just to be careful around the flex cable. It's one place you can go in too deep and cut it very easily. So we're going to go around the edges and pry here, and then uh, there are going to be a couple places where we've got adhesive on the inside that are holding this together. So you will have to apply some force later on as you're pulling it apart. Let me see, I'm going to go around here one more time just to be safe. And when we go to separate this, you'll see that uh, near the top on either side there are a couple pieces of adhesive. So I'm going to get a heavier pry tool here, kind of work that apart and you'll be able to feel it. If you look down inside, you can see we've got uh, one rectangle here, and then we've got a long strip of adhesive on the opposite side, and that's what holds the panel in place. So go ahead and take that off again um, without ripping your flex cable. And then we've got two pieces of heat tape that are covering a couple of things that we need to release. There's the main flex, there's another flex cable for the bottom button set, and then there's one more flex cable that I removed for no apparent reason. So. <laughs> Uh, once you get under this tape, you're going to notice um, 
at the bottom left hand side there there is a flex cable but it's self-contained it's all part of the lcd which is connected to the digitizer so that one didn't necessarily be, need to be disconnected there the one right where my thumb is on the top so you will need to open up the one for uh, the button set at the bottom over here bottom of the phone that is go ahead and open that one up and slide that little oh I guess I'm still taking the tape off here that one's a little stubborn so remove the tape and try to keep that for later and don't worry about that just get the main flex cable and the one with the button set right there Now at the top of the uh, top of the front half here, we need to heat this up, and we're, we've got the earpiece and the front-facing camera actually have an adhesive that hold them into the frame. So just very carefully remove that. You don't want to put any stress on the cable itself. Just try to get under there and pry with whatever you can uh, very carefully without pushing too hard. And we pop out the camera and the earpiece. And those stay attached to the cable, of course. And we'll set that aside for right now. Okay, now the next thing that we're going to do is start prying. But take careful uh, care here at the bottom. You don't want to scrape anything on it accidentally and Android uh, not particularly Samsung but on some of their phones like the Galaxy series they tend to use a heavy adhesive to hold that button set onto the digitizer in the front so you want to be very careful when you're prying at the bottom half of the phone where your home button search button and so forth are right down here we'll go ahead and heat that up again always helps to remove adhesive And you can almost kind of push the bezel back a little bit until you can get underneath the glass with your pry tool. And not too much to worry about at this point at the top half of the phone. It's only when you get to the bottom you want to make sure you don't damage the buttons. And there's not a whole lot of adhesive on the side rails. It's mainly at the top and the bottom. So you can just kind of break that seal very easily on the side. Just uh, when you get down to the very bottom, try to look in it here and make sure that there's nothing stuck to the glass. In this phone, it's not too bad, but it's a good habit to get into. So like I said, on a lot of the newer uh, Galaxy and Galaxy 2 series, they make it very difficult to remove the lens without tearing the bottom flex cable where the home buttons are, or where the buttons are. So I just say, if you don't know for sure, take your time. Try to take a look at what you're uh, working with down here. In this particular case, it's not too bad, but on a lot of them, you'll want to have a spare set of buttons on hand just in case. And you see, this came out without too much trouble. And from this point, we can go ahead and take the new part, install it, and rebuild everything back to the beginning. Not too difficult. I uh, would give this a beginner level difficulty rating.